for EX4, once you have your HTML finished, at least so far, you have your links working. What you want to do is close your file, make sure it's saved. If you see a dot here in the working files, it usually means it's not saved. I think this is saved, but if you just hover over the working file and click the X, it'll either ask you to save it or it'll close it up. So I want to make sure it's closed. I want to make sure everything's saved right now. And I just want to go and find my file and just see where it is. And here's my upload folder. And remember, you're not going to be uploading your upload folder. You're going to be uploading everything that's inside your upload folder. Your upload folder is basically going to mirror or mimic your directory that you're going to see when you log into CyberDuck. So you're not going to copy this, you're just going to put this stuff in there. So this is basically a mirror of your web directory. So this is the folder I want to put up there. I have a finished one, but that's just for me when I run through the videos. But this is the one that I want to put up there. These are the ones that are going to stay. And if you do make a change to your index, which we will, because you're going to be updating links to your exercises, you're going to change this here. So that's going to be something you're going to change as well. So, but the first thing we'll do is we'll upload this. It's still, you can still find it without a link to, on your homepage. You could just type in EX4. So what I'm going to do now is going to launch CyberDuck and make sure that I can connect. Hopefully you've already been able to connect. And I'm going to find my bookmark. And mine is Instructor. So I'll double click on it. And I'll put in my password. And the password is pretty simple. It's usually your last name 230 is what we set up. So I'll log in. And it should jump right to your directory right away. It might be empty if you haven't uploaded anything. Or it'll have these three files. And all that I'm going to do is make sure you just have the window side by side is I'm just going to upload my EX4 folder. And I'll just drag it right over here, not in anything else, but in the same directory as these three files. And I'll just drag it and it should copy and I should get a message about transferring. And it shouldn't take long. And if there's a file there already or a folder there already, it'll overwrite it, but this one didn't. So everything's okay. Now if you need to check it, what you can do is just put in wcccgraphicwebdesign.com. I have a link on documents and resources, but it's wcccgraphicwebdesign.com, not the Campus Racket one. And if you go here, now this is kind of the long way to get there. You'd have to go to students, you'd have to go to student websites, and then it'll come to this page, and this is your class. So if I click on this link here, you should see your name, and there's instructor, so hopefully now, I'm just seeing my home page right now. It's not going to my EX4, and I don't have a link. I didn't link my EX4, so how would I see it? Well, I could just go up here and just type in EX4, and it should go to the index page in that EX4 folder. And it does. So here's my page. So as long as you just go to your directory and you actually type in the EX4 directory, you should be fine. That's why I want to be very careful about keeping them lowercase. So even if we don't have it linked yet, you could just go to EX4 and it'll go to the first index page within that folder. But eventually what we'll do is we'll link this EX4 here. That's fine for now. We'll worry about linking all those once we're done.